Hi guys, it's the walking Zuzu Dead here, king of the anime and manga unboxers and a lover of all things geeky here on YouTube. So welcome to the first episode of Game Vault. This is going to be a new segment on my channel where I pick a retro, nostalgic, childhood favourite game to let's play where I share all of my like childhood memories on that game. Or I pick a game from my gaming back catalogue that I've never had the chance to play before and I give you guys like a first reaction. This could be on something like a Snatcher or a Shadow of the Colossus or a Skyrim on a game that I've never played before. In today's episode I am going to be playing the legendary JRPG on the PlayStation 1. Yo! Final Fantasy 7. What can I say? This game is one of the best games on the PlayStation 1 and when you think PlayStation 1, you think Final Fantasy 7. Some in the comments section down below, I want to know from you guys out there, who are your top three favourite characters from Final Fantasy 7? I haven't been playing games much. Oh no, I was playing Genshin Impact actually. I got really into that. Oh yeah. Well. Yeah, I, I got I got I got I got some uh, pretty good S ranks. Anyway, do your intro. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome to my little Final Fantasy little let's play. I've got my good friend Jamie here. Hello. Special guest. This is actually going to be the first episode of Game Vault as well, which I originally did this episode and I thought, no, actually I'm going to scrap it and then do it with someone else. Did you? <laughs> yeah. I haven't, it's not been released yet, sort of like thing. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. So I'm going to make this the first episode. Oh, okay. Cool. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Random tidbit. <laughs> the more you know. Yeah. So this is pretty iconic, like, yeah. We definitely need it in. <laughs> so, are we getting started? We are, oh, yeah. I'm the one with the controller. Well, on you certainly are, right. <laughs> so, Jay's playing. <laughs> right, so... New we did have a continue because I unfortunately recorded it with the wrong mic, so we're going <laughs> to... Did we have to do it with him? We botched it. Oh, I botched it. <laughs> but then again, last time I think we were like completely talking over this amazing intro. <laughs> yeah. Like, iconic. Which kind of to be expected, isn't it? It is lovely, yeah. Oh. I remember being a wee nipper. You need a liar. <laughs> <laughs> a wee nipper sitting down in front of the PlayStation watching this. Do you know, like, do, do you ever feel that, like, when you were a kid, that these graphics looked like the Final Fantasy VII graphics when you were a kid? Like, you couldn't imagine fucking game graphics getting any better than this. Like, these were the, the best cutscenes on, like, PS1 sort of thing. These were amazing back in the day. Yeah. These graphics were well good. Because this was like, it was pretty similar time to Ocarina of Time, wasn't it? And Ocarina yes, of Time similar. definitely did look a lot worse than this. Well, maybe it didn't. I don't know, like, all Ooh, the pre-rendered um, backgrounds and that in this make it look so good. Yeah. I mean, but that's its way of getting Ocar around. Ocarina yeah. of Time did look pretty janky. <laughs> it, yeah. I mean, N64. <laughs> N64s were great, though. They were. They're like the Nokia's of fucking phone consoles. <laughs> Never break. <laughs> Actually, I think mine still works. I'm not sure. I've, yeah, I mean, I'm not, they I'm were not, built to last. last. I've not touched it in like two years, but I played some, I was like a Mario Kart set for like, oh, nice. a couple of years ago. 64 is one of the best iterations of Mario Kart, I swear. Yeah, I, I remember playing <coughs> a lot of Buddha. Like, it was a lot of fun. I love Midgar. It's yeah. such a good aspect of <laughs> I'll sit on a blade, a blade runner by it. Yeah, on um, the, the steampunk like looks great. I'm pretty sure they said in an interview that uh, they were inspired by Blade Runner. Yeah, you can definitely see it. Yeah, you can definitely see it. Yeah. <laughs> Those fucking models still put me off every time. I'm like, oh shit. <laughs> they look way too clean. Actually, against the background. Yeah. Like the second time round playing this, like, I'm noticing it way more. <laughs> so I think this is like the PC port, actually. Is it? Yeah, I think so. I, I didn't know that. Yeah. I thought they just did it. Oh. Yeah, I think this is like. Uh, yeah, no, I could have sworn when it came out they said it was the PC port of the game. They bought like a HD version of the PC port. Hmm. Much better times starting on the ATP this time. I got first hit, which means I take less damage over the whole run. Uh, Speedrun strat. So that's, uh, yeah. So Jay's just pulling off some fucking crazy strategies that I'm not no, even No, there's no yet. strategy at all. There was nothing. It was just last time they got first hit when we did the playthrough. Ah. <laughs> or is that? Oh, I pressed the fast forward button. 
Oh, that's fine. You only all get past these slow ass gates anyway. Yeah. They seriously do so much of a better job of fleshing these guys out in the remake. Oh yeah, yeah, we were saying about that last time, yeah. That wedge is so lovable. And Jessie's so thirsty. <laughs> and Biggs is just Hungry. It's <laughs> 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 like every possible chance she's flirting with cloud. It's unbelievable. Oh, yeah, I am. I'm, I'm looking forward to like seeing what they're all like. Yeah, they, it, it, like when 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 the whole um, Sector Seven incident inevitably happens, like, yeah. it hits harder. Yeah. Okay. Right. So, like, how much more fleshed out is this little segment in the remake? There's like this. So, so like, much. It's so much bigger in the remake. Right. This whole section. So it, would, it ain't going to take us like 20 minutes <coughs> like, to beat the boss and get out and. Get back on the train, sort of like. It'll probably be more than twenty minutes. I yeah, I don't know. Okay, that's cool. Like, I could probably get for pretty quick. I yeah. imagine now. I haven't played the game for a couple, like a month or two. But... No, I was just wondering how much they fleshed out this opening scene. Oh, massively. Yeah, massively. There's so much more dialogue. Mm. <clears throat> There's a lot more exchanges between them as a group and between individuals as they go around and. You know, there's a lot more of bar ranting right, of, about yeah. like protecting the planet, and yeah, okay. sort of stuff like. You know, it gets more of a... Eco-warrior. Yeah. Didn't get one of these last time, actually. No, I don't think you did, actually. take two hits to kill instead of one. <laughs> Control's still so janky, because it's like yeah. eight-way yeah. analog. <laughs> it's it's like yeah, smooth, I've, when I... It's like the smooth 360 you get nowadays. Oh. It did take a little while to get used to, even like when I was running away. <laughs> the yeah. countdown before. <laughs> I was like, oh, god damn. So this game was released in January of 1997, and we both worked it out when we were like 11 years old when we first played this game. And to think like how much it's gone from PS1 to PS4. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, yo. Well, Final Fantasy's definitely had a pretty messy period up until now, I'd say. <laughs> it has, yeah, that's true. Like, first, 13 was pretty, like, 13 was good when you got into it, but you had to get into it. Like, you had to get yeah. 20 hours in for the battle system to have, like, a good... A good game. Like, yeah, for it to really matter, like, right. how you, how, like, because it's all to do with, like, formations. Yeah. Like, you switch between, like, you have someone who, like, debuffs, someone who buffs, someone who heals, someone who does magic, someone who attacks, like, someone who defends, like, you know what I mean? Right, like, yeah. Different roles, and you switch your party's groups by, like, they will stick to said role. Yeah. And so, like, you switch formations, and then you know, the healer can then go on an attack, and, like, the person who's debuffing, or, like, and someone to, to, like, start tanking. <coughs> but for that to really matter, right. it doesn't, like, happen until 20 hours in. Jesus Christ. <laughs> like I don't know how people like get through games like that. And that's when the game sort of opens up as well, where it goes from being oh, corridors, okay. like the hallway sort of like type style game. Right. Actually being like open So it's, world. it's it's one of those games where you have to take too long to open up. Yes. It takes too long to open up. Bad move on. Right. I mean a lot of old like PlayStation One series is sort of like went through midnight for crisis and dipped. Yeah. Resident Evil did it, Tomb Raider, you think of all the ones that were like massive, they all had like these yeah. spots where they were shit and then like sort of come back. I didn't really rate 15 either. Like the magic in 15 was pretty rubbish. Like because you could just kill, you could kill your party members. They didn't really know to run away from magic too much. Right. Like I, I didn't really play the game that seriously. But it, yeah, like, I played a little the bit story of it. To it as well it. was it just wasn't pretty good. <laughs> like the ending was pretty sick, mm. but like the whole ending sequence that was it was pretty good. But, I don't know. It felt a bit drawn out and it felt like it was missing a lot of key points. Well, like storyline, right? Yeah. yeah right. The 7 remakes, like, the best in the recent game I think they've done, apart from 14. Yeah. 14's pretty sick, the MMO one. But then that's an MMO, so it's a bit different. It's a bit of a different ball game, isn't it? Yeah, that's true. I mean, <coughs> well, I mean, the bringing out walls is 16, and that's looking like it's going to be really good, so. That's done by the team that did 14. Oh, yeah. So, saying, like, yeah. The, like, the producer and the guy that did the music. Yeah. Um, oh, the same. Oh, right. So it's gonna be the same. Yeah, music, yeah, right? yeah, yeah. The soundtrack. Okay. As soon as I heard, as soon as I saw that trailer, I was just like, I know who's done this. Right. You could tell by the music straight away. He's, like, Sokan's got his own sort of take on Final Fantasy music, and he does it really well. That guy churns out so much music. It's unbelievable. <laughs> Fourteen. 
and the soundtrack's amazing. The yeah. soundtrack's so good, and there's so much of it because that game is by no means small. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> it's like it's like this massive game. Yo, that pipe that you just went past before—that's the pipe where that guy. Oh, I've got the speed up shit on. Oh, you have, yeah. That was the pipe where that dude went back and forth and grinded Barrett and Cloud to level 99. Is that where it was? That, that little tiny pipe. Oh, I thought you went halfway before. No, you went, that's where he did it. Oh, mate. Two and a half million times he did that little pipe. Yeah, that's insane, right? Yeah. To I think, would have how would how, how would people come up with that challenge? Like, like I'm that's just insane. hating yourself. <laughs> it's not, there's, nothing, there's nothing skillful about it. Oh. You're just, it's just like... Just a test of will. Yeah, you know I mean, mean it's, it's just like it's fucking psychology. Is, is it going to break you? <laughs> like, <yeah. laughs> Are you going to be broken? Oh my god! And like I was saying, like even if you did get to that 99 at the end of the rack, would you go and do the finished lap and finish the game? <laughs> would you just give up and hate it? <laughs> I don't think I would want to touch it ever again. No, 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 no. you wouldn't <laughs> want to lose that save. That save that's there with you in the. Yeah, I mean, oh. you'd have to keep that. It's like your trophy. Imagine having that wiped afterwards. Oh no, yeah. Well, I guess. Do PlayStation memory cards have batteries in them that die after a while? <laughs> I don't know if they do no, or not. No, I don't think so. I don't know. I've never, have you ever tried? I've, I've never tried one of my old PlayStation memory cards. I've still got. I've got like. Yeah, I've still got. Bastards. Actually, yes, I. Yeah, actually, one of them still does work because I use this little doodad that transfers them to PlayStation 3 for a connector for the PlayStation 2 thing. Yeah. So I managed to put old PlayStation 1 saves on to the PS3. And then, mm. so, yeah, I had, I had all my old like Resident Evil saves where I had like you the. Can do uh, that. You can yeah! Do that. Yeah, so I, so I had, when I unlocked like the rock launcher of an Infinity Rounds, I could bring that over. And on a director's cut, you can unlock a magnum of Infinity Rounds, so you've got to beat the game under a certain amount of time. Uh, so I was managed to bring them over because it's, you know, I hadn't played in ages, so it's like, there's no way I was going to unlock them on the first fucking run. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're at the boss already. Yeah. Didn't really, didn't really have an adjustment period this time. We no. got, got worse luck with the enemies, I think, but the like, damage uh. between them is a bit more balanced, at least. <laughs> Here's a fun little fact that I googled before this video, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Final Fantasy VII sold 2 million copies in its first three days, which, back in those days, that's like... You think about it, like some games like Resident Evil 2 only sold like 2.5 million copies throughout the whole thing. That's like That's mad. how did they get for that PS hype? for PS and it considering no one knew about JRPGs back then. Did it have quite a good advertising budget? I think it was because of the cutscenes. I think because it looked nuts Cause it back looked, then. Yeah, because yeah. the FMV sequences just looked yeah. insane, and everyone was like, because they were a bit unlike anything you'd ever seen before, like yeah. 3D. Yeah. Well, because I remember the first time I ever saw this, like. Is of my mum's, and it was like my ex, like stepdad, and my brother, and we were on like old fucking fat monitor dial up internet. <laughs> do you remember the old dial up internet? Yeah, of shit? course I do. Right. That sounds just dull. Yeah. Jarring. Right, and we and we watched the fucking like Final Fantasy VII trailer on something, and we we're all like, oh my. Like, I remember being like blown away by it. Like, I don't know how old it must have been, like 10 or some shit. <laughs> like, never seen anything like it. Like, you're going from Sonic the Hedgehog to fucking seeing those. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's unbelievable. Yeah. I think I had N64 in between playing this to like soften the blow, I guess. Yeah, because you had a 64 first, right? Yeah. This guy takes his time with the tail. Oh yeah, you're doing a little sneaky trick again. <laughs> no, it's not a sneaky trick, it's what you're meant to do. Even if a game tells you you're going to attack when the tail's up. Like, I died to this like three times the first time I ever played this. Because I didn't know. Because right. I, I just followed the instructions. <laughs> well, I just go for the smash approach then, I told you before. <laughs> Brute force through things. Oh, and he's done him! died so quick this time. I smashed him. have to heal. Right, you can take a care of the escape. <laughs> <laughs> oh, level up. I've got your assault gun as well for Barrett. Nice. Let's get out of here. because I can't be asked to fight anything until we're out of this. <laughs> did you do that last time yeah, too? I did, I did yeah. <laughs> oh, no wonder I mean, so far. I mean, it was pretty damn quick. I mean, but... You should probably save. Uh, I suppose it doesn't No, 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 because uh, we ain't going to get saved kicked. last time. Yeah, anyway, yeah, yeah, we'll so. be fine. <laughs> Actually, we'll just end up in the same point though, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. All right. It's going to be fine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Got me to save Jesse. Yeah, yeah. She needs that pop. <laughs> Oh, I'm not the 
pasa? Get up! <laughs> Shit's about to explode. What was she even doing over there? Have you not played any of the remake then? No! You're not even done this opening? Uh, I have, I've literally completely kept away from it. I've maybe watched a few little videos on it. Yeah, you've got to go forward a little bit, I think. Oh, yeah, I did, back. I fucking did we that did last, last time. Yeah. yeah, I know, I got stuck on that last time, didn't I? It's these old maps, mate. They have, like, <laughs> weird points where you yes. click sometimes, so it yeah. doesn't, like, visually line up. Yeah, I, I forget it every single time. It's, like <laughs> it's just, like, old age mapping. Yeah. And running back into those bloody doors, we've done that a few times as well. <laughs> it's like you'll run through a door and then like it'll be like point right to go through the door. Yeah. So you keep pointing right and the door comes out in like the wrong direction, so you just run back. I feel it. like the analog stick makes it bump off some <coughs> of these janky bits as well sometimes. It's Fucking eight-way analog stick, isn't it? So it's like, well, yeah. Way, way too advanced. <laughs> the old PlayStation 1. Mm. Oh no, I mean back then it was like eight ways, wasn't it? The directions that haven't... Oh shit, yeah. You yeah, haven't yeah, got like yeah. a full 360 no. turning range. Yeah, it's like clunky ass tank yeah. control stuff. Ooh, that was quick. Do you remember what like team you used to use? Like who are your favourites? Cloud and Tiffer. I'd use Aerith until she dies. Yeah. Like... Oh yeah, she was great. <laughs> I just liked her character. They did such a better job of her in the remake. There's some real good scenes for her. Yeah. Oh. We're well, we'll gonna um, get onto that next. I can't wait. <laughs> who, so can't. yeah, I'd have I'd, at the start it would be Cloud Tiffer and Aerith, and then when Aerith go, I think I brought back Barrett a lot. Um, I did towards the end. I used Barrett or, quite a lot. I like Sid. Yeah, I was gonna say Sid's I always cool. I always use Sid and Vincent. Um, See mine, if I remember, I always use Barrett, Tifa, Cloud, Sid, uh, Vincent, and I think he's like Cassif. I don't, I don't think I liked using Vincent as much because you lost. Con did you lose control of him when you did this limit break? <sighs> I, I remember when I was younger, I used to use Vincent. Yeah. But I think when I played it through again, I think I just kept Barrett. Right. I think it's because he was like a cool character back then. So it's like it's well, back, like, back, back, like kid me playing and yeah. seeing Vincent. It's just like, <laughs> like you know, edge as, as a kid, you just want Edge. <laughs> like, yeah. you know, and Vincent, yeah. you gotta love the, the edge. Definition of Edge. Yes, <laughs> it's like, just so edgy. <laughs> gotta love that shit. Like his metal claw arm type thing or whatever it looks like. He's yeah, got, and then turning into beasts. It's just, it's like. It's Mind just, you, of like Alucard from like Trigun or some yeah, shit. Uh, <laughs> Yes, that fires back again. <laughs> I love that before. Playing a lot of PlayStation 1 games, I've, I'm loving the old fucking crappy little JPEG things they use and everything. <laughs> it's so great. It's like, oh my god. Yeah, it looks alright. I, I mean, yeah, possible. I mean, it, I it's possible. amazing. I, mean, it <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I love the shit. They have all it's like the uh, loveless advertising around in that, in the remake as well. Oh, they do? Yeah, it's a uh, continuing theme. Yeah, cool. But then this is where things go a bit haywire. And they like change a little bit, but it doesn't like really add up until the end of the game. Well, yeah, because I was saying like last time it's like some fucking time traveling, fucking yeah. ancient power earth stuff or something's going on. <laughs> well, they're remaking the timeline, aren't they? Yes, so... that's yeah, that's what we were saying. Yeah, so it makes perfect sense to call it a remake. So remaking <laughs> the timeline. <laughs> Yeah, it's a good concept, like, yeah. It's like completely rebooting in a different way. I'm looking forward to seeing the characters get, like, I don't know, fleshed out over a new story. Like, they've done yeah. such a good job of the characters, like, giving them their own identities that, like, in, it, like does it, I'm kind of excited to see how they go through a new story instead of an old story, like, yeah. like five or six times. Yes, yeah, I get what you mean, yeah. So it's a great, like, reimagining. Yeah. Like they make characters so much better. They don't. Yeah, because I was like saying like maybe it's gonna be like a trunk strangles these thingy affects the timeline. Yeah. And it's his own well, they've, retelling. They've said in interviews that they can stick to like the pulses of the original story. Yeah. So it's gonna it's probably gonna have like the majority of the retelling that's faithful to the story and just little twists here and there along the way to spice it up. Yeah. <clears throat> to keep you in your toes. Like the way that they've done the remake, 
is now people are arguing about whether Aerith's going to die or not. Yeah. Like, but then you've got a reintroduction of Zack as well. Right? That's yeah. Think, so. And it's like, now people are, people are arguing and theorising. You know, like, what's going to happen to Zack? Is that in this timeline? Is that a different timeline? And they talk about that yeah. little dog as well. Right. There's a dog, there's a dog on posters that's a symbol of Avalanche called Scrappy or something. Okay. And you see it on posters, and it's one type of dog through the main game. And then when you see the flashback with Zack, it's a different right. dog. And so they're like, oh, that's a symbol, it's a different timeline. Yeah, okay. That makes sense. But like, you don't know how it's going to... Like, like a parallel universe timeline kind of thing. It's like the branching off thing, in it? Yeah. Like, I don't know, I think they've just got like multiple timelines in parallel with each other or something. And then you can use a live stream to travel between the two. Because it's Sephiroth and Aerith that are travelling between the live streams. Yeah, one positive, and, one negative sort of thing. Yeah, it? well, like, Aerith's an ancient, and so she's sort of harmonised with the live stream, yeah. isn't she? So she's well, wasn't because of Sephiroth to do with, like, Genova stuff. Yeah. yeah. Sephiroth, and, Sephiroth survived through the live stream, didn't he? Yeah. When he was killed by Cloud and thrown into the reactor, he died but merged with the live stream, didn't he? Yeah, 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 right. And that's how he came back in the original game. But then, obviously, like, had Genova going around as his proxy and confusing the party. Because that's, like, the whole point, isn't it? Sephiroth's in one yeah. core place the whole time. Mm -hmm. And Genova's going around assuming Sephiroth's form in different places. Right. Which leads them around on their journey. Mm -hmm. right. Well, Spoilers. <laughs> of the whole game. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> it's alright, it's over 20 years old. I mean, I think, I think everyone's watched it. <laughs> or played it, you know what I mean? Yeah. But that part when Aerith dies. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Yeah, yeah, we, already, we already spoke about that a minute ago anyway. We did, yeah. Seven people don't know where she's been. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah everyone, everyone knows. I mean, everyone knows about that, even if they haven't played Final Fantasy VII, right? They know that game and they know she gets sorted. Back then it was a big deal. They were like, oh I mean, my god, yeah. she, she died. She was, but like, I'm pretty, yeah. sure, I'm pretty sure they did it. And like, I'm pretty sure they killed someone off in like Final Fantasy VII. Yes, they, I think they five. did. Yeah. One of them, but like it's been well, so long since I played those classics that I yeah, can't yeah. remember what. No, but they did it really well in this because I know everyone goes, "Oh, the Aerith and Sephiroth, blah blah blah," and they sort of like you know, like people in modern days, they because they didn't experience it back then or they've not played it, yeah. so they, they've never really gone on that journey with this group, and then gotten to the point where Sephiroth fucking kills her, so, and then you lose her, and she's like a valuable member of your team, and yeah. you, you know what I mean. <laughs> So that's why people like downplay it, I feel, because they went, they've never actually experienced the game. Oh man, like, she was in my party, because she was a cool character. Yeah. She was like one of the best characters. It's going to be even worse than the remake, because she's probably the best character, I don't know, she's one of the best characters in the remake. Right, they've, like, they take they've done out. such an unbelievably good job of us. <coughs> that's if it happens, though. <laughs> that's, that's if it happens, yeah. <laughs> people like theorise that like, Tiff is going to die. Oh, I was going to say, well, yeah. the cloud dies. <laughs> well, cloud dies. Yeah, why not? Like, of like in terms of like how you play as the characters, like Tiff is probably the most fun to play as. Yeah, I mean they've the got to, they've got to kill someone, right? Because yeah. it's an iconic part of the original Final Fantasy. Yeah, so someone has to die. Yeah, right? and it's got to be a twist. It can't be the same person over again. Maybe they bring back Zack and then kill him. Oh like, yeah, that would, that would be I mean rude. he's he's I mean he's got to either die or go. I'm going back to my home planet now, yeah. <laughs> sort, of, sort of thing. And <laughs> saying goodbye and. It'd fucking be a bit, anime it'd be a bit in a way. disappointing if it does end up as like the perfect ending where everyone's all like back together. Yeah, because like, that's not Final Fantasy VII. No, like I remember. Um, oh, because it is in the ending showing like red at uh, showing that the fucking civilization's fallen anyway in Midgard. Yeah, yeah. yeah, like a ran like random facts with the um, original seven. I yeah. remember reading in an interview a while back that uh, when they do the attack on Midgar and you actually you know when Hojo's cannon. Yes. When you go and do that. Originally, they were planning to kill off every single part, like player ca playable character, apart from the three people you had in your party. And oh, you did that really? On yeah. But they decided that it was too brutal, right? And then it ended up just killing Aerith instead. Oof, imagine if they did all of them. That would that would <laughs> that, be, that would be memorable as fuck. Yeah, right. But then at the same time, like that, wow. like the Aerith scene is iconic. As well. It is. Like, that's yeah. so, uh, such an iconic scene. Yeah. So like you can't really say like you know they they did it well. Like give it to them. Yeah. So it was probably a good call. True. Yeah. Because she's a character that you build up such a bond with. Yeah, yeah, well. definitely. Yeah, oh, yeah, I guess that if you had multiple, it would like lessen it, wouldn't it? It's, yeah. I guess anything about it, yeah. She's sort of a person that builds Cloud up a bit. Yeah. She's also a valuable healer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but everyone's healer in fact. Like in this game, like healing's just. I don't know. I don't think you have. Like, you don't really do dedicated healers in it. This game doesn't do roles. Yeah, true. Really. You don't have someone who's like an attacker, oh. or a tank, and a healer. Like. Everyone, like, because of the material system, everyone's pretty flawed. Yeah, I, f I forgot how good the material system was until I like, watched a video on yeah. it recently. 
how the material is brilliant. Yeah, it's great. <laughs> and I didn't actually realise when you put material on it, your health goes down because it's like yeah, a radioactive get, like, material. <laughs> health and MP forfeits and stuff like that. Then. Yeah, I completely forgot about all that stuff. I was like, oh my god, I forgot about that. But how clever. <laughs> Security grid. Yes, this reminds me of like aliens, like the schematics they bring up on that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it looks so bad. It? It's beautiful, what you know about? <laughs> this is childhood right here. <laughs> oh. God, to think this to think this just looked incredible. It did yeah. as well. It did, yeah. And one thing I love about this scene is like, what well, in this game in general is how they use the music to set the tone. Yeah, oh yeah. Great, like, tones music in this game. Like, this really just gives that sort of depressing, mm -hmm. run down, like, shithole. Yeah. <laughs> feel. Needs a rebellion. <laughs> such a simple, such simple music as well. Yeah. I mean, Final Fantasy is known for its amazing music. Yeah, it's, it's like a cream of the crop. I feel like this is one that really like nailed the mood of the set. Yeah, the best. Yeah, I can, yeah, I would definitely agree with that. Right. Some of the, some of the, some of the other games have amazing soundtracks as well, but they just don't set the scene just quite as well. Yeah, when you think about this game, like you do think like, it's got a great story. Um, the music's just fucking great. Like the two, yeah, the two things. And then, well, for back then it would have been graphics as well. But yeah. looked, well, obviously that's like not really a thing anymore. <laughs> but. And not many games on the PS One really had that sort of like three really good things: and good story, good music, and good graphics. Around this time, never really cared about gameplay, but <laughs> at least back then. Why were games was I obsessed with on PlayStation One with back then? Well, this was my first PlayStation One game. Yeah, because when we, we when we met, to... you were already on PS2, so... Yeah, I, um, I think Tomb Raider was the other game we had. We right. used to lock the uh, butler in the fridge. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> was that Tomb Raider 2, is it? I, I think. think. Yeah. Um, so I was never really into Tomb Raider. Like, Buddha used to love Tomb Raider, but I, I, was, didn't get, I never I didn't got... Get into them. Like, fucking, I played, oh, the I... controls were just even bad then. I yeah, could never really get into it. it. Then, because of that, I the underwater, like, swimming... Holding your breath, shit. I've hated underwater levels ever since <laughs> in any game because of fucking Tomb Raider. I get like PTSD, like I of how angry I'd get with Tomb Raider. Like, <laughs> so, as, as, as someone who grew up playing Mario, I feel like you developed your underwater level PTSD a little bit late in life. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking hated underwater levels in Mario. They're not like the worst. <laughs> Those fucking fish. They're fat lips. <laughs> Fuck, and then on Sonic the Edgehog. Fuck underwater levels. Oh man, that's even worse because Sonic drowned. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, does Sonic have underwater levels? Yeah, there's, like... there's a whole level that's underwater in there. I swear to you. the pipes and you have the air bubbles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's fuck. It. That's God, it. yeah. I hate that one. It's, I, think, I think it's before or uh, no, bef after the love level. There you go, you've got your PTSD yeah. before oh, yeah. Tomb Raider 2 then. Yeah, <laughs> yeah well, fucking Tomb Raider 2. <laughs> it's underwater fucking levels. And then Metal Gear Solid 2 had another really bastard underwater thing which made it even mm. worse. <laughs> Same concept, had to oh. swim into air pockets and fucking get someone out and rescue them underwater and I hated it. Oh. Yeah, in the remake, you know how you have that little um, couple that's by the lamppost yeah, yeah, at the yeah. start of the game? They're still in there? Are in they the really? Remake? Yo, yeah. that's cool. They're still in there? That's cool. Like, uh, so the, the attention for detail is going to be crazy, yeah. I'm guessing. Like, Johnny's still in it, man. You nice. know Johnny, you know Ginger Johnny? Like, the start of Se Sector 7 when you go in. All right. And you see him in, like, Wall Market and that. Like in oh, this game, you see, you see him, you see right. Johnny as you travel around in this game. Okay, so he's like a background, he's sort of like. Yeah, it's just like a background story. Yeah, there's okay. not really much of anything. It's just about Johnny just like falling short at everything he ever tries ever. <laughs> but yeah, he's in the remake. He's brilliant in the remake. He's with you in Wall Market. That Wall Market chapter is like the best thing of that <laughs> game. It's unbelievable. <laughs> they managed to take something that's pretty dodgy, such as Cloud going and cross dressing. And like going to a brothel <laughs> and stuff like that, yeah. And they, like they managed to make it funny and more like empowering instead of disgusting. Right. It's really weird how they managed to do it. It's so. Funny. I did. I, I did wonder how they were gonna like no, tackle no, you, it. You won't believe it. Won't believe <laughs> that that whole chapter as well, like crazy, is it's unbelievable. Is some of the funniest shit I've seen in a computer game for a while. Is it? <laughs> yeah. They managed to yeah. get it right between that 
Like you've got fine that, line. <laughs> yeah, you've got that sort of like fine line of like cheesy perverted humour. Like, yes, like, like, the, 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 the Japanese sort of yeah, weird they, humor they, 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 they can get it wrong pretty easy. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> they, they definitely push the line sometimes, you know what I mean? But they managed to get it right this time. Well, that's good. Like, I'm intrigued to see what it's like now. Mm. <laughs> oh, here comes an iconic character. <laughs> Is she still like a proper badass? She's the best character to play as in that in the remake. Her combo system is like it's so much fun. Yeah. Like Cloud's awesome as well. He has this whole quick attack system and counter like heavy, slow moving, hard hit and counter base system. Okay. Like they're called Operator and Punisher and you alternate between them. But like Tiffa and Cloud are pretty much the most fun because they're your most defensive characters. Really. Right, okay. Aerith is really good for like setting stuff up with. She has an ability called Arcane Ward, which right. when you're stood inside a circle she puts down, instead of casting one spell, you cast two. You put that down and you can just fire off like double spells for the cost like cost of a single and you all your character all your characters can use it. Right. And so then you can just like pummel enemies with magic. How the fuck do I get down there again? You don't, you share, you talk to people, don't you? Oh, you talk to Tiffa, don't you? Talk to Tiffa and Marlene? Like, or, uh, no, you go out and talk to Barrett, don't you? Oh. Uh, <coughs> it's all Cloud being like, I want my money. Yep. Yeah, isn't it? Yeah. Like, pay me. <laughs> pay me for your terrorism. There you go. He comes from uh, the back. Papa. They make the slums so much bigger as well. Oh, like, nice. Like, there's a real sense of like people living there. Oh, that. cool, is it? Like, yeah, because the slums are pretty big. Are they? Yeah, they use. They use the sort of chapters where, like, this chapter now, when you come into Sector 7, they'll use that as, like, your side quest chapter. Yeah. Where you can, like, go around and do all of your different... Like, you can explore that, explore Sector 7 and help people out while you're doing it before then you move on to the next... Section. ...part of, like, the story. Cause the, like, and then when you meet up with Aerith, yeah. and before you go to Wall Market, that's your next quest chapter, which are quite natural fits in the story, I think. Yeah. So there are points where you're in the slums and they sort of open up to you in the original. So they're like, they're like your main quest exploring chapters and they're pretty good. Right. So, yeah, so they're basically like fleshed out with loads of detail, all these like little areas that we yeah. had. Oh man, that's cool as fuck. <laughs> I don't know why I have, I've like holded off like playing it for such a long time actually. Ah, you've got, you've got to. Once, once yeah. you start, you'll find it amazing. Yeah, like, especially, especially like... Fuck it, we'll wrap this one up and then we'll play the remake. Yeah, that's what yeah, that's, we're going to have to do it. <laughs> so guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. In the comment section down below, I want to know from you guys out there, what was your team that you used in Final Fantasy VII? Who was your favourite character as well as what was your favourite boss fight? Thanks for watching. Please give it the old thumbs up, share it around, subscribe, click that notification bell and you'll get more awesome videos popping up in your feed. And I'll see you next time.